Today we're gonna be talking about how to produce music if you don't have time. Cause I've been busy, I've been chasing waterfalls. I stop believing in some kind of miracle. What's up guys? My name's Noah and you are watching the productive producer. I'm gonna say it right now that in order for this video to be effective, you have to decide why you are producing music. Take a second and pause this video and figure out why if you're not sure. If you never asked yourself that question before, ask it right now. If you're working 40 hours a week or you're a full-time student and you feel like you don't have the time to make the music that you wanna make or put in the hours that it takes to be a professional producer, you're gonna have to make some changes to your schedule, your priorities, and your relationship with your free time. And change sucks. Nobody likes change. It's uncomfortable and nobody likes to feel uncomfortable. But the good news is, is that it doesn't last for very long. That feeling of being uncomfortable doesn't stick around forever. In order to do something different in your life, you're gonna have to shift your priorities. You're gonna have to shift things around. I understand that most people don't wanna hear this, but if you're watching this, you do need to hear this. If you're trying to figure out how to make music when you don't have, when it seems like you don't have any free time, this video is specifically what you need to hear. Back when I was working my day job, if you had asked me if I wanted to be a career musician, I would have told you definitely yes. I wanna be out of this job. I don't wanna be doing this anymore. I wanna be doing music full time. But my habits and my daily routine and my priorities weren't in line with that. I had to restructure that in order to get to where I'm at right now. I could have made this video really, really long with a lot of different tips that I have of stuff that I've learned and picked up, but I boiled it down to the three most important ones. The ones that I really wish I had implemented earlier. Because I knew about a lot of them already, but I just was, I just had no interest in implementing them. So learn from my mistakes. First one, getting on a schedule. If you're not keeping a schedule right now or like keeping track of all the stuff you gotta do in a calendar right now, this is gonna be the easiest step for you. It's gonna be psh, no problem, can do that easy. It's the, the hardest part is just remembering to do it. And I'll, t I'll tell you a little bit about that in a second. Chances are right now, the only type of schedule you have is your work schedule. And everything else apart from your work schedule is free and flexible. Unfortunately, that's just not gonna cut it. If, you, if you're having trouble prioritizing your making music right now without keeping track of your time, it's going to be nearly impossible to move forward and get better. So this would be scheduling stuff like if your friend calls and wants to meet you for lunch, and you can, you don't have anything on your schedule for that day or for that time. Text them back and then put it right into your calendar. Same goes for production. So you say, all right, I wanna, I wanna get this track done, uh, but I only, I only have two hours on Friday afternoon. Well, then schedule that time. Put in two hours of production time there and then put what you wanna do during that time. And we're gonna talk more about that in a minute. Number two is start producing in the morning. One of the most common problems that my clients come to me with is that they don't have time or the energy to produce after work. It makes sense, right? You spend all day working, exerting yourself only to come home and all you wanna do is chill out and relax. Like totally, that makes total sense. This is what I started to do when I, when I started to notice that even when I was doing music full time, when I was trying to do like some experimentation stuff or work on my personal stuff that wasn't really making me any money, I was running out of steam at the end of the day. So I was like, okay, I need to wake up a little earlier. So I started waking up one hour earlier and I just kept, kept adding on to that hour until I have a an established early morning routine. You don't have to go crazy like me. I wake up at 5 a.m. every day and get to work, but you don't have to do that. Don't worry. You know what? I'm not saying start doing that right now, but if you have to wake up at eight to get to work by nine, try waking up at seven. Remember too, guys, remember I asked you at the beginning of this video to really find out why you want to make music. What is the reason for making music? Is it to bring joy to your life? Is it to make a career out of doing something that you have fun doing? Is it to, to make other people happy? Whatever that reason is, fill in the blank right here. Is it worth waking up a little earlier to do blank? If it's not, that's okay. I'm talking about the people who 
are dedicated to becoming better musicians, better producers, and who want to make something out of their skill that they've cultivated for years and years. If you were like me back in the day <laughs> and waking up early makes you want, like just the thought of waking up early makes you cringe and just, oh, I don't want to wake up early. Think about this. Remember when you were a kid waking up on Christmas morning? Like maybe more recently, you waking up in anticipation for a vacation that you've been planning for months? Did you feel groggy or tired and have to drag yourself out of bed? Most likely not, right? That's because you went to bed excited for the next morning. You need to bring that energy for what you already love to do. Remind yourself of that before you go to bed. And also, guys, too, it's important why if you're waking up earlier, is to go to bed a little earlier. A lot of people stay up way too late watching Netflix. So if you're normally going to bed at midnight or one in the morning, try pushing that back. Last one, get organized and intentional. If you wanna be a pro, this is a must. You can't be unorganized and not have any intention what you're doing if you wanna get paid for what you do. I think that applies for all fields. But for some reason in the arts, people feel like it's just, oh, well, it's fun. You don't have to, it just should just come from you when you feel like it, if you don't try to force it. If I only worked on music when I was super psyched to work on music, I would barely get any music done. Remember, if you're already struggling to find time to make music, you have to get the most out of that time. And that requires organization and intention. So as far as organization, getting those sample packs organized, you could watch another video I have if you're an Ableton user up there in the cards. Organizing your presets, you know, if you got lots of serum presets, getting those all in one place, maybe organized by category so you know where to find them, you know where to go in each with each one. Ableton racks and pretty much any other production asset you could think of. You wanna be able to find the stuff you need to find when the need arises, right? If you need a brass sample, Oh man, I need a brass sample that sounds like this. You should know where that is. You need know, to find out and get organized. Because the minute you get organized, you will start making music so much faster. I promise you. And equally important is intentionality. When you have limited time sitting down to produce an idea, or you don't have any sort of direction, or you don't even know what BPM or key you want to write in, it's a recipe for a lot of just hunting around and trying to figure it out. That's wasted time. Now, I'm not saying freestyle sessions or sound design sessions aren't important for exploration and learning, because that's part of getting better too, right? But those should be intentional. Like today, I'm doing this. Today, I'm going to experiment. I'm just gonna try some new things. And other days need to be focused. Like, I need to finish the drop for this song. I hope this video isn't stressing you guys out. I just want to be honest with you guys. In order to get what you want, you've gotta make sacrifices. It doesn't come easy. Thankfully, there's a lot of resources and you can learn from a lot of people, especially here on YouTube. There's so many good creators out there on YouTube right now. Back when I was coming up, there was none of that. None of that anywhere. But it still takes some effort. It still takes that, those extra man hours. If you can find some time, and that's what the, I mean, that's really what it comes down to is just finding some time. Scheduling in what you gotta do. Getting organized. Hopefully doing it in the morning and getting it all done out of the way first thing in the morning, you've already produced what you can for that day. Chances are too, guys, if you produce something in the morning, by the time you get home from work, you will want to go back to that project and get into it again. And that just is a, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy right there. If you start making it a priority, it will become a priority for you and you will get better. So I hope this didn't completely stress you guys out. Um, if you have any tips for other producers, you've watched this video and you were like, oh, I've been there. I'm not, I'm not there now, but I used to be there. Offer some tips, offer some help in the comments. I'm sure there's a, a couple of producers watching who are trying to figure this out for themselves. If you got something out of this video, even if it was just a little tip, consider clicking like on the video. It really helps me out. Uh, and subscribe. I mean, you guys already know, I'm putting out videos every Friday, but subscribe, it really helps me out too. So that'll do it for today's video. We'll see you guys next Friday. I've been busy, I've been... Oh, 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 oh,